It's a buggy and doggy kind of day. Bugs and dogs are in the mood, so it should be fun getting through this episode. Hi friends, it's Melissa, your plantita abogada from Tasteful Nodes, coming to you today with a unboxing video. Sorry about the bugs, really, truly. <laughs> but let's not let them damper our spirits. So today's unboxing video um, is actually um, a plant off of my wish list. Remember how I said, um, if you watched my nine top nine wish list plants of 2022 episode, I said I was gonna just try to focus on what's on that list. And I think I'm doing well <laughs> for the most part. Okay, let's go through my abogada uh, disclaimers real quick. One, KKB tayo, kanya kanyang bayad. I will not be paying plant child support if you lack the self-control. Um, it's a nice plant. I'm not gonna blame you if you try to get it, but don't come to me asking for money for you know, my ina anak or something. <laughs> Number two, I'm not an expert by any means. I'm an attorney. I'm not a botanist. Um, I'm a hobbyist like you guys. So the facts that I do provide in this video are going to be referenced. Um, there are going to be references at the bottom so that you can use those as academic references should you feel the need to write about this plant. Ooh, I almost let it slip. And then number three, uh, get a second opinion, always, always about whatever, you know. Um, that's not legal advice, it's just good practical advice. In this case, get a second opinion um, based on pricing in your area and the growth conditions that it needs. See if it'll match up to your area or what you're able to provide, okay? Now, with that being said, yay! Plant unboxing time. Um, So with this plant, um, it's a mutual plant between me and Plant Daddy. He is definitely interested, or was interested, and has been looking for this plant since the beginning of the new year. Um, we've seen a few stunning specimens. I mean, just jewel-worthy. And he has wanted one, I've wanted one. It's, it was meant to be, right? Uh, we found one on Facebook and we verified that it is indeed what they say it is. Um, that's another thing that you need to get a second opinion on just because IDs are kind of iffy, especially when you're buying from private owners. Um, but it looks good. It really does. And let me go ahead and just get it open. As far as the boxing is concerned, just in case I ever need to give this guy a review. It looks great. So we've got a little bit of a crate holding it down here. Kind of gives the shippers the idea that this is the bottom and it, that's the right side up, right? We've got things that are strings. What are these called? Of course he's not here to ask. Um, we've got things so that they could carry it easier. We've got stickers indicating live plants and fragile all over the place. Um, the label was here, took it off so that Plant Daddy stops complaining that I'm showing off our address. And everything looks good. Let's go see how good it looks inside the box. I'm gonna put this on the ground really quick. Oh, it's open, guys. So it's not a closed box on top, it's open. There's air that's allowed to pass through. Another bonus point for the shipper seller. Okay, let's put this guy aside really quick. I don't have a trash can underneath today. Okay, that's fine. We make do. Let's tuck it in over here so it doesn't get too far. Like I said, the top part is open. Um, I think that's the easiest way to get in. So we'll start from here. We've got some more of that crate. I'm guessing as a means of protecting the plant. I 
Okay. Some more garbage that I'll have to put away somewhere else. It's well packed. We've got some more papers holding it in place. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open it from top to bottom here in the front so we could open it like a present. And then now is probably a good time to peel the crate off of the bottom. And then let's go open the bottom a little bit more to free this beauty. Hopefully it's potted. Um, Plan Daddy was the one who was handling the shipping with this. I know he's back. Do you know if this is uprooted or if they shipped it in a pot? Potted, okay. Yay, one less thing to worry about. Nice. Here we go. And it's tall. Let's go see what we've got in here. It's harder to find here. Um, quite happy that he got this. Oh, okay. We're gonna need to give it a sturdier pull to climb, but it's good for travel. It's fine. And it looks like it was an import. Do you have any information on how long it was acclimated here in the country? No? Okay. Only reason I say that is because they've got the equigeneric, yeah, equigeneric tags here on the bottom, but I would like to introduce you guys to the philodendron. Oh, alati undulatum, undulatum, undulate. Alati undulatum. So we have, we lost the leaf, it's fine. Um, we might be able to splint it. In case you guys break leaves, um, if it's not completely broken off, helpful tip. We've been able to splint some of our plants, um, like the nangaritense. Um, what else did we have? We had a quercifolium that we splinted. So as long as it's not completely broken off, you could just go ahead and attach something firm to the broken part of the leaf and tape it up and hope and pray. I mean, <laughs> it won't hurt, but um, it's just helpful for the growth of the plant really. So the philodendron alatiundulatum, it's easier said I swear, I promise, is a plant that's native to Colombia and Ecuador. Um, I believe it was published in 2016, just recently. And let me go ahead and verify that information real quick. Um, yeah, so according to the International Plant Names Index, uh, it was published on March 1st, 2016, under the name Alatiundulatum which is fantastic. So it's a newer named plant. It doesn't mean that it's a newer plant. It's just newer, newly named. Um, and it was published in the Journal of International Aroid Society, Aroidiana. So the name Alatiundulatum. I promise I'll get the name right by the time we're done. Um, is, uh, is Latin, right? For alatus, meaning winged, and undulatum, meaning undulate. Um, the reason for that, and I'll go ahead and post a video, a closer video of this, right, is because um, the petioles actually show, like these guys are right up here actually, show these wings on the side of the petiole, on both sides, so it's double winged on both sides, um, that actually are wavy. 
and winged. So alatos meaning winged, and undulate or er, undulato meaning um, wavy, right? So that's what we've got here. Is um, if you watched my previous video, the top nine wishes plants of 2022. Party in what is it? Business in the front and party in the back. Um, two things about the philodendron alati undulatum. One, mature plants tend to have redder or more maroon petioles than the younger plants, which are greenish. Um, and as far as the as far as temperature is concerned, colder weather brings out the maroons or the reds um, better. Also, another defining characteristic of the um, alati undulatum is the double catafils that you usually see. Um, <laughs> it's just such a showy little plant. It is a hemi-epiphyte, meaning it'll start on the ground and it'll eventually find something to climb. So if you do get one of these, um, it's probably best to go ahead and get it a pole to climb as well. Um, I'm going to flash Atemei Tolentino's plant so that you see what a mature Alati undulatum looks like. And also that plant is, is pulled up. So it's got a pole to climb and it helps in getting the defining characteristics um, even more obvious. Uh, let's go see if I have anything else to say about this precious. So, yeah. Um, Veins on the back of the leaf will actually begin to color up um, as it matures. Plant care for this guy in the Philippines, or I guess in general. Uh, bright and direct sunlight. Um, they enjoy well draining mixes. Um, I usually use a slow release fertilizer and from what I read, fertilizing once a month is fine as well. What else is there? So sunlight. Watering, um, I would always advise to water based on your personal watering schedule. You know what your potting mixes look like and you know how quickly these things dry out. Um, better to underwater than overwater. Um, overwatering almost always brings on root rot. So I would suggest that, you know, put it in your potting mix as soon as you can and, you know, just Treat it like you would the rest of your plants. It's not a picky plant. It's just harder to find, that's all. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, guys, um, please feel free to subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you actually get notifications of my upcoming videos. Uh, check me out on Facebook also. I have longer write-ups, sometimes memes, um, really whatever. <laughs> whatever strikes my mood for the day, you know, um, on Facebook. I'm there as Tasteful Nodes. And check me out on Instagram if you need pretty pictures to look at right before you go to sleep. My Instagram handle is Tasteful Nodes also. Okay, until next time, guys. Keep your nodes classy and tasteful. Bye.